Howdy everybody and welcome to the next part of the Mega Man tutorial. Today we are going to be working on getting our master display set up working. So let's get cracking. You'll note in the master display room there are several different layers. We have the large star background, the medium star background, the small star background. And I've set up the variables on them so that the large star moves with a horizontal speed of 4 and is tiled. Medium moves at a horizontal speed of 1 and small moves at a horizontal speed of 0 0.25. Then we have the banner and the black ground, which is just the uh, black background. And of course our instance layer. So, we need to get a master to display. So let's come over to our objects and our room objects. We're going to create a new object. Or we could use this one that already existed. And we're going to give this the name object underscore master underscore display. And we're going to give it a few different things here. A create event, a step event, and a user event zero. We're also going to give it a sprite. Come over to our miscellaneous, no wait, our backgrounds. There it is. And give it the master banner display. No wait, that was wrong. That'd be why. I was going to originally use this uh, setup, but it turns out that I used a different object, so just delete that one. We're going to come over and we're actually going to make a new group here. We're going to call this um, Enemy Objects. Can add another subgroup. Call this wood man. Let's drag that object into there. And we'll call this object that is for wood on the man and do short display. And give him a sprite, enemies, bosses, wood man. And we want him to be this, where he looks like he is crouching. That is his jump display. Create. Step. And draw events added. And let's get started on this code here. Yeah, so originally I was going to use like a banner and set things up so that the banner controlled everything, but then I decided that it would be easier if we just dropped in a uh, object for each of the bosses, depending on what is the uh, chosen boss. So uh, you remember in our last episode we uh, set up this mass, the, the um, let's see over in the selector when we select we say global.selected master is equal to selection and I don't think I have it over here so I should probably put it over here as initialize it to initialize it and the reason I wasn't having any errors with that is because I don't really use this. But if you had multiple masters, then you would say, okay, well, what master has been selected? And then change the display object based on whatever master has been selected when you go into the room. At least that was the idea. Since this is going to be the only object in the room...
we set the camera's display to fixed and then we set up some variables image underscore speed is equal to 0 0.5 music underscore is equal to q underscore new underscore song music underscore master underscore chosen one false our white target so uh, if we come back to our room uh, yeah dragging our object position him up here let me see what note he where he's at 128 negative 40 there we go so he's gonna be positioned up here and then he'll fall down until he reaches his target position which is right there and let's zoom in a little Y underscore speed underscore is equal to eight. That's how many pixels per frame he moves. Print underscore name. I decided to go with individual uh, objects for each one of the uh, different bosses is because each boss kind of has a different animation set up, different things that they do, different X, Y positions for their origin. So I decided it was easier to do that instead of trying to set all up in one object. Then last but not least, layer underscore background underscore alpha. So this is a way to get our uh, our uh, alphas of our backgrounds here so each one of these has a alpha for how uh, visible they are we set that to zero at the start of the room so that the stars are not visible when you come into the room and then in the step of it we're gonna fade the stars in as the master drops down and uh, some other stuff. Let's uh, zoom back in there and we'll start working on that bit. So y is equal to approach my y to y underscore target underscore at y underscore speed underscore. All right, sounds easy. Then if y is equal to y underscore target underscore do stuff and if not audio underscore is underscore playing music so once the uh, boss song it, boss introduction song finishes fade underscore transition from Go from our current room to the Woodman stage. All right, let's see what we can do about our cream filling here. If audio underscore, well. So after 3.2 seconds, we want to do something else. Else if. Uh, this is after uh, 1.8 seconds. Do something else. Oops. And this is before 1.8 seconds. So uh, after 3.2 seconds, do this. Between 3.2 seconds and 1.8 seconds, do this. And before 1.8 seconds, do this. So we're just going to set print underscore name underscore equal to true at this point and if 
chest underscore pounds underscore is less than three. And then sprite underscore index is equal to sprite underscore wood underscore man underscore chest pound. So set our sprite to there and if animation underscore end chest underscore pounds underscore plus plus. So whenever we reach the end of the animation, set our uh, chest pounds, increase the value of our chest pounds so that we know how far it's gone. Then once we have reached three chest pounds, then sprite underscore index is equal to sprite underscore wood fan underscore idle. And keep our sprite as idle before we reach three seconds, or before we reach 1.8 seconds. And so keep our sprite as the idle sprite. Our star alpha increases by 0 0.1. So over 10 seconds, it'll fade in, or 10 frames. And in that case, we're just setting our star alpha to whatever this is. It doesn't matter if our alpha goes over one because any value over one will be treated as one as far as alpha is concerned. All right, so now that we got that into there, let's go in one last thing. We need to do our draw. Specifically, we need to draw our self and draw name. So after three seconds, we set print name equal to true. So we do this. This is a very simplified version of a uh, text box. Set ourselves up a temporary string. Underscore temp underscore string is equal to string underscore copy name from one to name underscore timer underscore. Name underscore timer underscore plus equals 0 0.25. Name underscore timer underscore is equal to clamp name underscore timer underscore zero string underscore length name. So we want to prevent the string length, we want to prevent the uh, length of name for timer from going over the uh, possible uh, maximum length. And Our old friends draw set H line and V line. And these should probably both be done up here, but I don't know if it really matters. Then draw our text, V box underscore left, minus 12, V box underscore bottom plus eight underscore temp underscore string. That's it. Should be done now. Let's test it out. See how well it works. So now that that's all set up, we can now head over to the uh, boss stage and get started on filling in all the interesting details over there. Let's see, uh, Woodman stage. I'll give you the uh, goodies on this once we actually get started on this. So uh, enjoy the fact that you don't have to tile all this. All right. Well, thank you everybody for joining us for this episode. I think it's time that I thank some Patreon sponsors. 
I'd like to thank Fragile Hearts, Crew Patreon, Damien, and Kenneth Klein for their contributions in helping make sure that the NES Game Maker continues to happen. And, uh, well, anything else? Nope, I can't really think of anything else. Uh, thank you, everybody, for joining me, and remember, good luck with your programming.